assalamu alaikum friends today i'm going to show you that how we will design a bridge using say 2000 and mm -hmm. the specifications of the bridge are given and can be seen by the video on the screen so we have a six foot man on each side on the center line of the road and the on center line of the bridge so, and the uh, Cross section shows that we have girders and some two feet and five feet of the pillars underneath it. So we have the span of 100 feet and the properties of the problem and girders are also there. So let's move to the set and design and analyze this. So here is the set. First, open a new project. Set generous to get fit. So set generous to get fit for the night and select 2D frame so we, are not, we use 2D frames because we do not have any certain template for the bridge so we will modify the frame to the bridge or bay so we have number of story 1 story height was 70 feet and bay width was 100 feet and the number of bays was 3 so remove the restraints and press Now to gain so we'll, now to gain the shape of our bridge we will need to select this and this and press that delete button to remove them. So now what we have to do we need to assign the distance for that I'm selecting these four joints and going to assign and joint and then this joint and from here selecting hinge and pressing ok. So the next thing is we need to move anyway let's move to this button select uh, set display options press it and press the labels for the fence. and then for the table and friend as well so now we need to move joint 5 upward because it its length was 50 feet initially so we need to move it to, initial, uh, to 50 feet so for that select it go to edit go press move and move this vertically 20 feet so that it move to 50 feet of length so now what we have to do we need to define to define the materials go to define materials and modify the concrete properties from here set the units to get feet and keep inches and per night now we have the modulus of elasticity of 5000 and the concrete was after 4 and the 5 and ratio was 20 so all the thing is correct let's change the name to concrete as well now press ok and press ok again Make sure your units are in keep feet Fahrenheit. Now go to define, go to section properties, ramps, add new property, select other from this and press general. Now from here we have 40 of the cross section area. In the moment about the main axis are is 400 and the shear around the main axis is 30. Press OK and select the concrete material it automatically detects and section for the now I'm renaming it as column so it detects the cross section for the column press ok now we need to add another property for that go to general and again and we have we have cross section of 35 and 500 was the moment coming over here and we have the shear of 12 Press OK and rename it to border and select the material of concrete and press OK and press OK. Now we need to go to define again. Uh, no, you don't go to define, just select your just select your girders, just select the member 5, 6 and 7 and go to assign frames frame sections and assign them as a girder 
and select your columns and now go to assign frames frame sections and assign them as a sorry column so look column and burden has been written over here to remo uh, remove this name press this undefined shape and the dot box now we need to split our frames for that select 6 7 uh, 5 6 7 go to edit go to edit lines and then divide frames divide frames into two parts and the last two first ratio is 1 so press okay so now look it's divided into 8 9 10 11 12 13 so move from 8 9 10 11 13 so each frame is divided into two parts now we need to go to define go to bridge loads and go to lens now we need to specify the lens we need to specify the lens from 8 to 30 for that we need to add a new line from here we need to start from the edge and the uh, width is 6 feet towards the left select the any line so just name it as one and press add so we need to continue this procedure up till we need so we need to continue it until we need until we reach to the point 13 so actually this is the frame 13 so we added it and press ok add another line this time start from again add and this time put the offset of minus 6 press add to now move so we all got the 13 so no need to specify the width of the line at the now here so just press ok and press ok over here go to define again Go to bridge loads. Go to vehicles. Now this time, keep it as a standard vehicle and add vehicle. So here, add vehicle. We are given that we need to design it with HS and 44. So this is the type of truck we normally use for the designing and analysis. So scale factor remain it at. So keep it as 20. That's okay. And we need to add another vehicle, which is basically the load of the van. So HSN 44 load of the van and scaling factor is 20. And press OK and press OK. Now we need to go to define uh, to vehicle classes and we need to add a new class. So we need to add first HSN 44 press add and now we need to add the van as well press add. So let it keep at vehicle one. So press OK. And okay, okay. So we need to go to the to define to the bridge doors and to the bridge response. So we want to see the displacements, reactions, and transitions. And we need to use the exact method of calculations. Press okay. And now, so all this process. You have to see that we got offset of minus six feet over here and minus six feet on the other side of the main than in the three D. So now we, so now we need to define load cases. Go to define, go to load cases, and add new load case. From here we will need to add moving load case and set definition name to move one. So there are one and two. So vehicle class has been added. So just add it. So make sure that the selected land definitions has been added. Now press OK and press OK. Go to analyze set analysis options to plan time. Press OK and run your model. So it asks me to save your model. I'm just saving it. So look, here is the different deflected shape of my bridge, right? So if I want to see the influence lines, because influence lines are the main thing in this. So go to this play button, show influence lines and surfaces, and from here, what do you want to see? So we want to see the influence line for the joint, for which joint? And uh, what type of thing you want to see? Reactions or displacement? So we want to see displacement, 
and on which joint so let's see I want to see the displacement of joint X and what are you want to see I want to see the U3 component U3 component is the vertical component of the moment so U3 is basically the main component so in which I want to see in the main one so press ok and what does it say zero rectangle are selected for the square nothing will plan for the zero just press press for me this is the pointer so for that just we need to uh, level our joints so that was the pointer to see the entrance lines go to display show entrance lines and i want to see at the 10 I want to see the levels of the joint 10. So I want to see the joint under line 1 and I want to see the component U3 and joint result type will be the displacement. Pressing OK. So look. This is the influence line for the point 10 for the joint 10. So if you want to see for the other joints, let's say 11. So let's go to display influence lines and change it to the 11 so it will lock it just changes now the demands come maximum over here now we can see the behavior of our structure in different manners so for that we will just go to the form here and come here we will select the model so we have a lot of model over here so we will start from the one it doesn't okay now here just start the animation to see how the structures will behave under different conditions so this is one mode of movement and there is one mode of the deflection in the bridge press here so this is the second mode only the last and the first pair is just uh, deflecting luminously so this is the third now the middle one is just exaggerating that's the four one. The bridge is moving axially in the direction of the traffic. So now only one column is just having a lot of deflection. Now both the columns are moving inward and outward. So they are moving out of plane. So their movement is out of plane. They are out phase, not in phase. Uh, if I just increase the number of levels, if I can increase the number of levels by just selecting them, I am going to edit and first I have to unlock the model. Okay, now select all these lines, go to edit, go to edit lines, and then divide. This time I want to divide each and every center 5 plus and the ratio of first to last ratio is pressing ok now look i have a lot of portions of the plans i need to now change my land load from 14 to 43 and then analyzing it in the same it gave us some better results so if i miss anything guys just mention it in the comments and stay connected for the more videos and please subscribe to the channel thank you